think it's just time to open the package. Well, I, I've opened it already to just check if everything's there. But let's just reveal this to you guys. I should have done this with the follow alert. Ta-da! So there's bubble wrap. And uh, here they are. All 10 of them. Nicely packaged and also some cables. Perfectly packaged. Exactly. Look how shiny they are. It's really nice. But uh, let's just uh, grab every one of those out of the box first. Let's move that out of the way. So here they are. 10 pieces. I also bought these cords because uh, these things run through Wi-Fi. And um, I want to just connect them all to each other. So they like source power for each other. And uh, I don't have to buy like 10 USB cables to uh, actually run them. Let's just uh, start by cutting one up, right? Well, not up, but open. So these are the chips. They are ESPs 8266. It's uh, Wi-Fi compatible. And it's basically the same as I've already had laying around. So we're going to use these. It would say on the bottom. Uh, oh my God! Looks like someone wants to join the community. Thanks for the prime, dude. Unrelated Holy info shit. just subscribed. Hell yeah! Welcome in. Uh, yeah, they're Node MCU. Let, let me show. Uh, there you go. V3. But uh, the most important thing is probably the code to write them on these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload them one by one with my cable, which is pretty important. Let me first get rid of this without breaking it. There you go. So what you do is you basically plug them in. There we go. So that's one, done. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Um, let me oh, open the code for you guys and show you. Well, uh, this is Arduino IDE. And this is basically the program you use to upload to these little guys. Uh, the most important thing to know is that on the official Duno site, you can download this code. It says pretty... Uh, clearly on the side where to download it. It also says some steps, what to follow to actually uh, get this code and how to upload it. But uh, probably the most important part for the ESP8266 is, is when you go to preference and files, you uh, use this code in the additional boards. Uh, I will, for your convenience, put it in chat. But uh, this code is really important to put in your uh, in your IDE because otherwise you can't find the file to actually use in tools. If you have a ESP32, uh, you need a different code. So you'd probably have to look that up. But that's basically to sync this program with the ESPs. So you can actually use this, which is go to boards in tools, then go to boards manager you would get this little pop-up. It first has to download the platform index. And then you just search for the ESP, in this case, 8266. And you'll get this one. You have to download this one to actually see your boards in the program. Uh, download this one. And that's uh, actually the only thing you need to, uh, to see your boards. So now the most important part about setting them up, if you see the code right here, also, uh, don't forget to uh, download uh, Arduino Johnson because otherwise when you upload it, you'll get a, like a, an error. So uh, when you see this code, this is basically the only code you have to change on these, uh, on these boards. So uh, at the first line, you have to uh, put in your Wi-Fi name Secondly, your Wi-Fi password. 
And uh, as the third thing, you have to type in your username of your Duno wallet. If you haven't made it, you can set it up on Duno slash, no, uh, dot coin. I don't know the site exactly. <clears throat> but you can set it up. If you search Duno coin on uh, on Google, you will find a website and you can set up a wallet there. Uh, then you type in your name of the wallet right here. It's wallet.dunocoin.com. Thank you, Furim. You have to be really careful not to mistype anything because you like, yeah, give someone else Duno instead of yourself. <laughs> uh, then this line is about naming your rig. So if you want to see your rigs on uh, the official web wallet or you use a different site or the app or anything, this basically tells you what miner it is. So you have to change that. In this case, uh, I'm going to call it ESP7 because I have ESP1 through 6. So the bottom line is actually very important. This line of code is actually pretty important if you're mining with the uh, 82 because it allows you to mine with 160 megahertz of CPU fr uh, frequency. And uh, when you download the code, this would be on false. So you have to type in true instead of false. And then you can go to tools, go to boards. And if it's correctly done, like you downloaded the uh, ESP82, then you should find your boards right here and then the generic ESP8266 module. This one you have to be have selected, and then you get this entire list of everything you can change. First thing you want to change is what I talked about just now. This CPU frequency uh, is uh, standard on 80 megahertz. Uh, the CPU frequency is standard on 80 megahertz, so you want to change that to 160. That's why we changed this one to true instead of false. What you then want to do is go to your port and then uh, the cable I've plugged in is on my COM3. So I select COM3. I check everything that I have selected right here. If everything's correct, have I done anything wrong? Am I missing something? Uh, I don't feel like I have, so I'm going to upload it right here. Now it's going to upload uh, behind the chat and we just have to wait. And if I've done everything correctly, this thing st should start to blink. There we go, guys. Download done. It's on. So yeah, uh, this guy is now mining for me. And uh, see, <laughs> but see how easy it is to actually set it up. Uh, so since this one's set up, uh, I'll just unplug it doo -doo -doo, and set it right over here because then I know that one is done. And basically, the thing you do is just repeat the step. It's pretty self-explanatory when you like have the code all set and done. You could basically plug it in without breaking them. Doo -doo -doo. I've plugged in a new one. This one's done. So... Uh, the only thing you have to do now, since it's on the same port as my PC, you go to tools and you still have the same boards selected. Everything is the same 160 megahertz CPU frequency. The only thing you change now is that it's the name in the code. So that was ESP7 and we're going to make it ESP8. There you go. And then just upload. It's pretty easy once you have the code complete. And now it's just sit back and wait. Right, now for the most important part, actually, oh, actually wiring them up so you could use them both. So what you need is you need two of these. They're female to female, uh, female to female, and 
what you do is you have your uh, your board right here and on the other side you have pins what you do is if you uh, have the left side of this thingy it states let me see 3 u and g on the bottom i don't know if you could see that or read that i don't know if my camera will focus uh here you see 3 u and g the bottom two Oh, sorry, it's 3V. Sorry. Sorry, it's 3V. Yeah. Uh, I have glasses, so uh, <laughs> I can't read that bad. Uh, but basically the bottom two that says 3V and G. What you want to do is plug them in like that. Uh, first one. Oh. Oh, it's so tiny. That's one. And then the other next to it. And that's two. But uh, what you do next is basically this one goes in the same exact ports as this one. So also in the three volts and make sure you align them properly easy click there you go and these will be eventually stacked like this and then uh, it should power everything well the the thing now because we already have connected these we have to change it up because we can't wait let me show it like this we can't mount this one to the first but on the other side it also has oh the same 3V and G's stated on here, right there, and you just connect them with those. all yes thank you guys uh, i appreciate you all and uh make sure uh you be kind and spread love <laughs> right bye <laughs>